Hello everybody and welcome back to season two of the Newcastle Criminal Series. And yes guys, our transfer ban has finally been lifted. We are allowed to spend money this season. Let's go. Um but yeah, it's a big season ahead of us. I'm not gonna spend all it we could spend any of it, but we got two hundred and twelve million in the bank to spend from qualifying for the Champions League last season. Finished with fourth place last season. The unthinkable Newcastle thing we could do with this team here. But we went and done it. So guys, this is season two. Hope you guys to enjoy this video. And remember to smash a like and subscribe to the channel. And let's get into this one. So these are the players I'm thinking of shortlisting. So I definitely want a new centre back. Definitely been thinking of Lissandro Martinez as the next step back at the club. I'd really like him. 25 years old, 84 rate, beautiful player. Endon has been another option for me. I'm in midfield now. Um, great, he's a great player, definitely a talent. And also, it's either him or Matthias Nunez from Wolves. My left back position, I'm going with a wrapped Berlin Mendy. I really would like him at, at left back. Um, and right wing, right wing, I didn't really think Aaron really shown this. I think he only got four goals and seven assists. It wasn't really a great se season for him. He's 31 years old now, I think 30, 30 32. So I'm thinking of getting Noni Madawake at right wing. So guys, we are 100% going to jump in transfers and we are going to try and get some of these players for a good price. So for, for Lissandro Martinez, I'm going to throw about 54 million for him see what we can do. 58, okay. I'm trying to bump that down to 55 with with a 5% um, settlement clause. And that is 55 million with a 5% settlement clause is what it took. And now we just got to convince him, given the wage, to join Newcastle United. Our first signing in this series, in season two, it could be Lissandro Martinez. We're going to give him a four year contract. He wants that. We're already up to business. Remove that, see if we can get him for that. It was 99k wage, we'll accept it. And here we go, then your first signing for the Newcastle crew mode is Lissandro Martinez to Newcastle. What a signing this is. I'm really happy with it. Obviously, he's meeting Bruno Gumriash there. But yeah, obviously, he's having his, tra obviously having his um, training. Not, what do I train? He's having his um, medical. There we go, medical. To see he's of Edward Ball's play for the club. But I think he looks all right. He's meeting Kieran Trippier and Bruno Gumria. They obviously know. He's going to be wearing... Yeah, that is what he's going to wear, guys. I'm keeping that. The number three jersey for him this season. 55 million it took us to sign him from Manchester United. Let's see what we can get for it. And it's an A. We'll take it. He's obviously an 84 rated centre back. We got one of the best deals out of that, they said. But we're just going to quickly put him in the start of 11 over Fabian Shaw now. I'm sorry, I love Fabian Shaw. He's my guy. But, oh, Lissandro Martinez at the back. That looks beautiful. That does look beautiful. With Botman as well, it's just a great back line already. I'm definitely keeping Trippier for this season. We're definitely keeping as our captain. I'm going to give him to scouts for nine days. I'm gonna... so, we're... so we're going to sim about to the 10th, I'll say. We'll sim to the 10th and see if anything will really happen. But this season, obviously, I'm looking for high-rate players and more quality they can bring to the team to push for even higher stakes this season. I don't know if we've got anything back. We have got a scout ball back on Matthias Nunes. An 82 race. Nice. It's nice. That is, that, that is nice. I like that. I like that. So, we'll wait a couple more days. We'll see him another three days or something like that. Because I just want to see um, what we can what we can really get, what more ability do other players have. Tango, Tango and Dombele is only an 80 rated. So I'm drifting more to Matthias Nunes now. He's younger and he's higher rated. Murphy, I'm going to sell. I'm going to get rid of. He didn't really do a lot for us last season, but now we have Almiron for backup. So... Well, we're not yet. Not yet, obviously. But um, I don't know. But I don't know what will happen. Obviously, we do. Uh, we do have a um, pre-season. No, I can't be sending my boy Amaron. on. He done. He done. Done. Nah, for us, I see. But we gotta keep him. We'll, let, we'll probably let Dahl out. Um, 
we'll probably let Dahl out. Um, we've got a loan because I'm not going to use him to be honest. We got we got my boy Nick Pope in goal, and he's not going anywhere. And a final scrap on Ronnie Madaway. Yeah, get him in. Get him in right now. Yeah, guys, we're making another couple signings. Definitely gonna get. I, got, I think I want Matthias Nunes more. So end on yeah, golden mate. We want. We're trying to get new. We're trying to get these three players now. First, I want Madaway. You can get in the team. Get in that team, lad. Gonna try and get about thirty-five million out of this deal. They want forty million. Okay. Gonna try and put that down to thirty-seven million with um, no sell-on clause. They want saying I'm. I'm will accept it. 38.9 million for Noni Madawake looks like a deal. We're gonna Nah, we're gonna we're gonna negotiate. I definitely just want him now, I wanna get him in the club. But what a sign this is gonna be. Tony playing in real life, he just joined Chelsea, a former Tottenham youth. Traitor. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna think him a crucial squad role. He's definitely starting. He's my starting right winger, 100 percent I'm quite surprised how we're able to sign him. I mean, he's only been at Marseille one season in this safe. And I'm already signing him away from Marseille. He's coming back to England. Welcome, Noni Madawake, to Newcastle United. See what we can get for the deal. Price rating. We get a B. Okay. An 80 rated. He's going to swap out for Almiron, obviously. We're just going to quickly try and get Matthias Nunez now. Um, I don't think we're going to have enough money for Mendy straight away. But that's it. I'm going to try and go about 42 million for Matthias Nunes. Now 45. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. 10% time on course. We've, it's just right now we've got money galore so we can do anything. But Matthias Nunes looks like... Voice crap there. Looks like he could be joining Newcastle United here. Can we give him a five-year contract? Because I want to stay, I want him to stay as much as, um, as long as we can. <clears throat> accept that and there you go done we're gonna wait on fella mendy for a bit but there you go guys two signings in right now matthias nunez has joined newcastle united what b for as well so you know what yeah we'll take that but let's just quickly get these players in the team my days so noni madawake into the team take out him and we're going to put Willock on the bench and look at that. Look at the team already. That is just beautiful. That is just beautiful. If we do sign um, Mendy, our whole team will be over 80 rated, which I think I just want to get done. I'm sorry, but Matt Target, I could tell he was a little bit shaky last season. I didn't, I could not trust him at the back, to be honest. We're going to try and get Mendy now. We are going to try and get him. Furlong, then can we convince him to join Newcastle United? But it's... I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and offer 40 million for him. I, well, it, it works. So you know, we'll take that. It works, and that's all I'm happy with. It works, it works, ain't it? Obviously, a crucial squad role. Three years, yes, that's what I was thinking a three year contract. It's taking a 50k wage, but uh, wait, wait, okay, well, 30k. But there you go then. That's all our signings got. Well, I think it's going to be all our signings. We we'll, might have to wait till January. You never know. We might get another little signing in there. But from Real Madrid, Furlan Mendy is your new left back. We've got B for as well. No, I'm not putting him right back. My boy Kieran Trippi is playing him right back. My boy Kieran. Probably going to drop Matt Target to the bench and put um, Furlan Mendy. But there you go. That's the team now. What a team. This is the team we're going to rock with for most of the season now. I want to keep Joel Linton now. I think I can trust him. But here we go then. I'm happy with the team. It's the team I wanted. We got all our signings in that we wanted. We had enough in the budget, so which was the big thing. Ooh, we had um, the Community Shield final. Because remember, guys, City won the league. We won the FA Cup. So we are the underdogs in this final. But can we beat City for the Community Shield? Obviously, we'd like to win the trophy to start off our season. It's, it's at Wembley. Most teams get a debut. Here we go then. Trippier's up to 85 at his age, to be fair. We, we would definitely take that one. But the first team, some players getting their proper English debut. 
So here we go then. Manuake, Nunes, Martinez, Mendy, all getting their debuts in all getting their kind of debuts in this match. Oh. Well, sorry two two, but we have they have a penalty in the 75th minute. That's great, isn't it? Haaland. This to put them in front. Is they? No, that's it. <laughs> great. Well, that's probably gonna be it, ain't it? Oh, we won! Oh, for goodness! We won! 4-3 on penalty. Woohoo! That was so confusing. We jumped this game. 2-2 two, two in the 74th minute. That's where we got to. I was like, what? Well, what? I, I was just, uh, you know, you can't. I was just like, what? 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 Well, okay, then. We'll be in Manchester City and we've got them straight away in the league. So. Oh, oh well, obviously last season a fourth place finish. Can we upgrade on that finish? Because we would obviously like to. Here we go then. No press conference. We just want to get into the match. Um, Wilson is going to start this match. Same for Joe Willock and Dan Byrne. As for fitness reasons. Here we go then. In his former V Newcastle. Some players experience in. Um, trips like this they've never had before. So here we go then. We start off our Premier League season at the Vitality Stadium at Bournemouth. And, then, and obviously last season, we won our first game away, it, which was our first game of the season against Brentford 2-0. Can we replicate it at Bournemouth? So here we go, and we've got a corner with Kieran Trippier here. Trippier puts this one in. Say so maximum block. Okay, so another corner in 17 minutes. Still 0-0 against Bournemouth here. I definitely think we're the favourites to win this one because obviously Bournemouth finished fifteenth, we finished fourth last season. Obviously the media will be expecting us to probably get top three, I'd say. Joey Linton! Joey Linton! Oh, he had two chances, they were both blocked. Oh well, but we have a penalty. It's gonna be Callum Wilson to take this one here. Can Callum Wilson score our first goal of the season? It was Almiron last season. Can he do it this time? Can he do it? He can! 1-0 to Newcastle, 25 minutes. And it is Callum Wilson with our opening Premier League goal of the season. Get in there. That is what we wanted. It's a Bournemouth counter-attack here. It do not look good because everybody's forward. And Tuna. Anthony. Jaden Anthony. Or Anthony, something like that. Tavernier. Gonzalez. Trevella. Gonzalez! Straight in. Oh, Nick, my boy Nick Pope had that covered, but it's a solo run for Bournemouth here. Lissandro Martinez has got to, to defend this one. Oh, he ain't. Oh, can he? Yes, he does. He should clear that one away. It looks like it could be coming up with a 1 0 win. Obviously, it was a 2 0 win last time, so I'd like to get another goal to replicate that. But I would still be happy with a 1 0 win. But that, nothing happens there. It's an attack. It's attacking the 8 second minute. 1 0 to Newcastle, still at the Vitality Stadium. Obviously, last season, last, last, last stadium, the last year in the Premier League, most of our wins were 1 0s, 2 1s. They weren't high scoring matches, so we're not. It looks how like we can show ourselves. We're not a high scoring team, are we? Not really. Go play with Nonny Madawake. On his Premier League debut for Newcastle. Nonny Madawake! Save! And that's been full time. Newcastle win their opening Premier League game 1 0 at Bournemouth. A comfortable win for Newcastle. It, looked, it didn't look to us. We did look like we had it covered. From a penalty from Callum Wilson is all it took to get the three points in this match. Both Liverpool as well coming out of a 1 0 win at Chelsea, which does pass eighth in the league. Oh, well, they're very mad, doesn't it? Yeah, at least we've still got a win. Ooh. Ah, I don't know about this one. No, nah, I'm going to reject it. I, I want my boy Fabian Schaar still at the club. But obviously, the Manchester City game is going to be massive for us. How far are we into Oh, 40 minutes already. Jeez. So, this will be the last game of the episode, guys. And I'll sim probably Palace off camera. Or we'll just sim Palace in general. Here we go, then. The main team starting against Manchester City here at home. 
We've already faced them once a season. We've beat them on penalties. Can we beat them again? At our, our, debut, our debut game at, at St. James' Park in this Premier League season against the league champions Manchester City. And can we win? I'd love to win, but there's a low possibility we can. And the pass, a good one. Intercepting it in oh, Wait, what? Did they not? So they what? Are we... What's where we just had the ball for the five seconds? Thank you. Now, finally, you get another highlight now. Jeez, I was like, how long is that going to take? Another City attack here. Come on, boys. Jeez, we went undefeated for the first, like, four games. And obviously, they all kind of slipped off a little bit after that. But we came back. We came back. Ah, this is... Here we go. I'm not going to look at the wall this time. I'm going to focus. Here we go then. Erling Haaland saved! Nick Pope with the save. And it's nil, and it's saved nil nil. Keeping that 91 rated Erling Haaland out from goal sight. Alexander Isaac really trying to push it. Go play it to Nonny Madueke. Nonny Madueke! On our home debut! On his home debut! Nonny Madueke with the goal! 1 0 to Newcastle! B City! Yes! That is what we wanted! Oh, nice and that's St. Maximum! 2! St. Maximum Mark doubles our lead! 2 0 B City in 44 minutes! Let's go! That is what we want. That is what we massively want. No, no, can we win the Premier League this season? I don't rule it out. Haaland. Oh, Trippier ain't covered. We're keeping Haaland out of goal sight here. But obviously last year, I don't think we won this fixture. So if we can win it, it already shows an improvement. They're just trying to play Haaland, but we know what to do. And coolly done in the end. We get a free kick here in 76 minutes. Maybe could we triple that lead? Gonna pass this one here. Oh, set like maximum but blocked. Oh, wait, no. Still got it here. He's offside. Nunes was well offside there. And now here we go, a Manchester City attack in 82 minutes, still 2-0 to Newcastle here. If we came out with a clean sheet against Manchester City, with Haaland, with, with Haaland for them up top, that would be massive, but no, I don't look like it. Erling Haaland, saved from Nick Pope. It's funny, I don't care if we don't save this even if we just come out with a win, that's all I want. It's Erling Haaland here. Well, they really need this. And top left, Erling Haaland scores. As you wrap it up. That's full time. And a massive win for Newcastle against the Premier League champions. 2-1 to Newcastle City. And what a win it is against the Premier League champions. We've just beaten them at home. That is so big for us. That is so big. Two wins in two. And are we replicating what we did last season? Six, uh, six points out of a maximum six. We've got Palace up next. We will... We'll play this episode. We'll, I'll be nice to you. I'll play this episode. We've done, we've done Sweet City, I meant to say, twice in the same month, which is very big, let's just say that. To my face, nothing phase me. Besides a lot of things on my mind, I need to say. Good afraid, so I guess they can wait just another day. Think I might be a okay if I wait just another day. I got to tell you, get it blinded by the lights. I got to tell you, got the chaos in my mind. I got to tell you, all these nights we're not together. Forgot to tell you. Yeah. Stop it, I was actually pretty gone through tank. But here we go in Crystal Palace. See if we can do anything. Let's keep, see if we can keep this unbeaten streak going. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why he's not fit. Weird. It's not even been long since. It's been quite not not like quickly since the City game. We've had a bit of a break. Don't know what's happened. Oh well. Gonna play the highlights. Callum Wilson is gonna start. 
Bad is under attack. I don't think he won the golden boot last season, but I think he got close to it. I don't think he was far off. Football field. This is the here we go then. Palace, away. We win this, we've done three out of three, which we would like to do. Oh, they've got, that's a good sign for them, Doniel Mallon. Oh, Trippier, what a right back here in Trippier. Did you see the defending there? You just knew what's this, oh, this is why we kept him. I didn't know if I could trust him at the start. Oh, it's Callum Wilson. Callum Wilson, but it's Mark Gooey with a great defending. We were close as well. Matthias Nunez on the ball here. Plus we have to Nani Madueke here. Oh, he's done well. He's done very well. Oh, straight to the core way, though. So corner kick here in 44 minutes. I'd like to get a goal off this just for our time. Kieran Trippier to take it. Well, opting for the short corner. Lost into the penalty area. Oh, it was in the box, but I don't think we were going to create anything off it anyway. Anyway, the way came. Let the way came. Oh, I just stayed by the keeper. And we have a penalty kick here. I think mean, I don't know if I want to take. I don't know if I want Wilson to take this. I want to give it to Gomez. Yeah. Absolutely smack this in the top bins here. And what a beautiful penalty! Bruno Gomez with a goal. One into Newcastle with a penalty. And it's Bruno Gomez with the goal. Gets in there. The unbeaten streak looks like it's going to carry on here. And obviously we can't. We ain't completed all the clean sheet thing. But still, it's still amazing what we're doing. Oh, it's offside anyway, don't matter though, I don't think. Ain't full time yet, free kick for Palace 8 Can we wrap it up with a 1 0 win here, please? We started off with a 1 0 win, can we end the Hawks with a 1 0 win? There's a. He's got to defend his. No, 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 no! It's offside! It's offside! It's offside! It's offside, don't worry. Well, it was a close call and, and that's it, full time, 1-0 to Newcastle, we got lucky, just because that Palace was offside, it finished 1-0, and we do go 3-3, three and three. what a start it is, this, what a start it is for us this season, as we start off 3-3, three three. we're the only thing to do it this season right now, and we're at the top of the table. Um, thank you for watching the episode, guys. Been that's so cool. Smash like, subscribe to the channel. I, I'm bringing this back. I forgot to do it at the start. I forgot to do it most episodes. Your player of the episode for this one is surprisingly, it might be surprised me, but Noni Madawake. 100% had a great start to the season. And let's hope you can carry it on next episode. Thank you for watching. That's so, that's so cool. Smash like, smash, smash like and subscribe to the channel. See you soon, guys. Bye bye.